If you're looking to supercharge your sales prospecting process, you've come to the right place. We went deep into Lemlist to figure out what people like about it, what people hate about it, how the pricing works, what alternatives exist in the market if Lemlist doesn't float your boat. Lemlist is a very, very popular sales automation tool. They started as an email outreach tool back in like 2017, 18, and they've grown like wildfire. A lot of small businesses use it. A lot of cold email agencies use it. People love it because it helps them get more leads from both email email and LinkedIn on autopilot. So let's get right into it. Let's look at the few advantages. The first and the biggest advantages is a very attractive design platform. So they have a very nice looking interface. It's almost gamified. It's almost like a game and it helps you set up those campaigns in a very easy to use way. And they have really nice audit log and tasks so that you can exactly see what is working for you, what is not working for you and what you have to do to get more of those leads. The other thing people love about them is their email warm up feature. They are the OGs of the warm up game they help you increase your inbox reputation so your emails never land in spam so they have a network of their customers and if your email starts landing in spam they send it to other members of their customer base and if it lands in spam it will automatically pull it out of spam market is important reply to it so that it looks like you are not spamming ever right in google's or microsoft's eyes so that actually gets you a lot of deliverability they have very good capabilities around image personalization as well as you know text personalization to help you get more responses. Other features people like are the automation and sequencing, of course. You don't have to manually send follow-up emails. So they actually help you automate your email outreach with the whole sequence in a clean structure so that you save a ton of time. Those are the things people like. Let's get deeper into the personalization. So people love their personalization because it helps them with dynamic generation of images as well as landing pages. When a prospect actually reads your email, they're much more likely to feel that, hey, it was just written for me it's not sent out to hundreds of other people and that actually helps you stand out in their inbox and get your responses so it improves open and response rates but the biggest thing is it helps you connect with your prospects on a much more personal level not just as a business relationship. All right, so those are the things that people like. What do people hate? Lemlist has issues with email delivery. There's a lot of issues where they say that the email is being delivered, but there are bugs in there and it seems like the email is actually not being delivered. Let's look at this particular review. So this particular person says that, hey, the functionality is broken. I had an issue with the campaign. I scheduled 97 emails, only 81 were sent. The explanation I received doesn't make any sense to me. The number you're talking about is the maximum email we'll send, not the number we'll really send. It's confusing to a lot of users. Onboarding was terrible. The support specialist decided that she can tell us what template we should use for our campaigns. For real, she started to tell us, should we delete from our templates? I believe this is way beyond her competency. So there's a lot of prescriptive medicine being going from the Lemley support team. Support was unprofessional and horrible. I was not able to receive any appropriate explanation for my issue so they decided to provide me with a refund what a brilliant idea customer unhappy with your software just kick him out and here's a quote from correspondence since you seem disappointed about the support and the tool tell me and i'll close your account and refund you so they didn't try to help me just showed me where the exit is this is not great behavior from the limbless support team the other thing that a lot of people do complain about is their support unprofessional support avoid so this guy says uh, what do you dislike about limbless awful customer support you can tell them an issue over and over and they still won't get it. So it seems like the support is not trained properly. While the tool might be great, it's hard to get a resolution and understand how to fix your problems if the support team isn't great. The other issue that a lot of people talk about, there's a lot of tech issues that come up. So this guy says, a lot of features are clunky and need to be figured out on your own. I had to make a separate email address to experiment and figure out how the sending works. And I've had experiences where I fill in a variable in a template and the sent emails never fills in in just blank space which comes across as very unprofessional to a prospect that you're actually sending the email to and that doesn't work for you the other thing people don't like is the billing there's lack of transparency with billing and there's sketchy billing practices so this guy goes deeper into it i like the dashboard it was aesthetic and nice way to see your cold email starts but their support and billing practices are not good i had my account disabled for a few months when i was not using the service when i reactivated the service billed me for the months that my account was not active 
negative as well as the current one. They were extremely rude when I questioned them and asked for a refund. I never got a refund and they just kept the money even though my account was not active. Bit of a sketchy billing practice. People have mentioned bugs. There's a new bug every week. Our team needs to deal with limbless bug on a weekly basis. In short, new week, new bug, which points to probably poor engineering on their part. Those are the few things that people don't like. What does limbless cost? So there's three packages they have. Email outreach at $59 per month, build monthly. And then there's a sales engagement package at $99 per month. Let's get into the 59 one. So with that, you can send personalized email campaigns at scale. It has some AI tokens, some 250 AI tokens. They have a really nice AI add-on. There's a LEMWARM essential plan, which is their warm-up and integrations with popular CRM, such as Pipedrive, HubSpot, and Salesforce. And the sales engagement package comes in after that at $99 per month. You can increase results with multiple channels. They have 500 AI tokens. They've automated LinkedIn outreach in this plan, which is great. Their LinkedIn Chrome extension, video prospecting, native enrichment, you know, custom landing pages and cold call integrations. They have a really nice agency partner program out now. They're creating a marketplace of outbound agencies that will help you use Lemlist if you're not trying to use it yourself, right? Like it's hard for you to figure out. So you go to an expert and they will do it for you. So you can reach 100K prospects a month using this. You can sign new deals, double your revenue, dedicated account manager, early access to new features and partnership discounts. So this is all for agencies and the add-on in terms of AI tokens. They have a really nice AI capability out that helps you generate icebreakers and personalized sequences to get more responses. Now we'll go into an alternative. Now, one of the alternatives is of course, sales robot. Of course I'm biased, but let me tell you why this might be the alternative for you. So Lemlist is very focused on cold email. They have great functionality around cold email. A lot of people love them, but they have very basic functionality around LinkedIn. LinkedIn can prove to be even five to seven times more effective than cold email when it comes to generating leads. If you're doing lead generation and prospecting, you need to put in more of your effort in the channel that will give you more of the results. Seems like Lemlist is more focused on cold email and LinkedIn, while Sales Robot is much more focused on LinkedIn than cold email. With Sales Robot, you'll be able to get more leads from LinkedIn. Here's what one of our reviewers says. It's hands down the best LinkedIn automation software. I've used many, many software platforms for outreach and this has been the best. There's live onboarding, platform is robust with features and the pricing is excellent for the value. A lot of people love our customer support. This person says such a user-friendly tool with amazing support team. The system is great, but the support is absolutely first class. Long story short, if you're looking to do more email, use Lemlist. If you're look, looking at LinkedIn as a primary ch uh, channel, use Sales Robot. That's it for this review. See you in the next video and make sure you do hit the subscribe button.